it's dangerous being a comedian these days if you don't stick to the political script. Exhibit A, Barry Humphreys had his name taken off the Barry Awards for the Melbourne International Comedy Festival for offending the transgender lobby. What a surprise. Well, someone sticking up for us is comedian Vince Sorrenti, who is now preparing his first new show in a decade in Sydney State Theatre, and he's called it I'm Offended. What a great name. I'm Offended. You got me already, Vince Sorrenti. Here he is How you in doing? the studio. Great to see you, well, Vince. I'm, I'm a white, middle-aged, meat-eating <laughs> man. Hey, so, and I have no right to be offended about anything. <laughs> but everyone is offended by me. <laughs> when I was a wog kid, I was offensive. Now I'm a middle-aged white guy and I'm offensive. So tell us, tell us about the show. And, um, you know, it, it is a serious issue, humour. Um, but has the woke world really... How much damage has it done to stand-up and, and other forms of humour? It potentially could do a lot of damage, but people aren't stupid. I mean, like, woke just doesn't work on stage. People love honesty on stage, you know? People want to hear stuff that's going on that's real. You know, like... I had jokes made about me when I was an ethnic kid. No one talks about ethnicity anymore. I mean, the two fastest growing ethnic groups in Australia are Chinese and Indians. No one talks about them on stage. I do. I get groups of Indians coming up to me after the show saying, Oh, that's fantastic. No one talks about us. Like, we don't exist. So we need to talk about stuff that isn't that isn't that you can't talk about talk about over the dinner table, but you can air the linen in a public show. That this is what we need to talk about, Liz. Yeah, throughout time immemorial, the court jester has always been the one who could tell the truth and keep his head because he covered it in, in comical satire, basically. Is that what you're finding still keeps ticket sales up, et cetera, and so on? Because obviously people are voting with their feet, right? They're not looking for woke content when it comes to comedy. <laughs> no. Nothing's no. supposed to be off the table. It's that one job that you can still be sacrilegious and half the time I'm in the crowd laughing my head off, even when I think I shouldn't be. You can't help it. It's funny. It's funny. You can't laugh at something if it ain't funny. And yeah. it's true. I mean, the biggest comics in the world are the ones that speak freely on stage. Dave Chappelle, yes. Ricky Gervais. These are the biggest stand-up comics in the world. People want to hear the truth. You know, but, you know, some people think that they're immune from being made fun of. You know, like uh, these vegans, for example, <laughs> you know, they can make fun of people eating meat in these restaurants in Perth that we've been seeing on the news lately, mm. but they would never assume someone could make fun of them because, because they're vegan. You know, like I'm telling you, we're ve sorry, I'm vegan. Yeah, you always know there's a <laughs> vegan at your table. Yeah, my parents grew up in southern Italy. You know, they never ate cow's milk or uh, meat or they just ate fruit, vegetables, rice, and pasta. They didn't call it veganism, they called it Poverty. <laughs> <laughs> but Vince, I want to talk to you about <clears throat> politics because one of my big beefs about politics these days is no one has any fun with it because political stuff, it's actually inherently hilarious. And, you know, do you think that people, especially on the right, need to be more using humor? I'm thinking about, like, when Peter Dutton and when some, uh, when some of the people against the voice said, you know, you could have all these different sort of ethnic voices, they said this all very seriously. I thought that could have been a great comedy routine. Why aren't we talking about... Why isn't comedy talking about the voice? I mean, we've got Alba, who's half Italian, half Australian. Why isn't there an Italian voice to Parliament? That's what I want to know. Well, and what, what issues would the they talk issues. about? Yeah. Pineapple on pizza? Forget about it. <laughs> and no cream in carbonara. <laughs> we need it in the Constitution. Um, uh, I mentioned Barry Humphreys before. Uh, when he was cancelled, uh, he mentioned about the, the, uh, the person who had cancelled him. Yes, um, Hannah Gadsby. She identifies as a comedian. <laughs> which is a, a great Very line. Clever. That's a disgrace, um, by the way, that Humphrey's issue. Yeah, that... it was. But tell us, um, how the, when you're preparing your material, so tell us about the show. What form does it take? Are you different characters? How, how does it work? No, it's just me. Stand yep. up. I do an hour. I've got, I've got some great supports. I've got, um, I've got Frida Geis, who's a, a Muslim mother, does the show in the full hijab, the real McCoy, doing stand-up comedy, and Cam Knight. They're both supporting. I'll do an hour on stage. I'm talking about uh, what's going on in the world, what's talking, going on in our lives, recent history, COVID, big issue, co great deprivation of privacy that we had for two years of our lives. I mean, it was, it was horrific. I mean, it's particularly for entertainers. I spent two years sitting on a couch 
tracky dacks, watching Netflix, you know, no money, collecting JobKeeper. It was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and the deprivation of, of, of rights, you know, the sort of the rules, for goodness sake, you know, like get the jab, get tested, wear a mask, sit here, stay home, well, you sit here, you know, let me tell you where to sit. It was unbelievable what we gave into during that time. And uh, what about being cancelled? Are you? It used to be that rock and roll went out of their way, like Paul McCartney went out of his way yeah, to get yeah. banned I'm because not, he's selling more tickets. I'm not trying to hurt anyone, Ron. I, look, but but would it be could, good to be cancelled? No, yeah. I don't think so. I don't want to be cancelled. I want yeah. to be heard. Yeah. But, but people often get... Uh, people come up to me after a show and they say, oh, look, that was terrific. And the, look, oh, I can't believe that you, uh, you used the term wife. You know, that's a bit old-fashioned. I said, wife, wow. look, I'm married to her. I'm her husband. She's my wife. We're in a heterosexual relationship. Sorry to offend anyone. But they say, well, why are you going to all these places? Aren't you scared of being a... I say, no. I say, I'm not offending anyone. I say, tell me something that I said that was offensive. And they never can. So they're just worried about the subject matter. And this is the point I'm trying to make. Why comics need to talk about politics, need to mm. talk about race, need to talk about gender, need to talk about all these things. That's why you have comedy. Comedy's not the problem. Comedy is the answer. Fantastic. <laughs> well, that's Vince Sorrenti on I'm Offended. You can get your tickets now to see Vince be fantastic and go along and, and watch as Vince gets more and more offended. Be fantastic. <laughs> Can't wait to see it, Vince. So, thanks so Thank much. You. Thank you very much, guys. Outsiders.